welcome back to my channel. My name is Jonathan North, and today I'm finally doing another quarantine review. Today I'm reviewing the sequel to DreamWorks Trolls film, Trolls World Tour. I planned to do this one ages ago, but it's been a crazy summer, and I just haven't had time. So this is probably irrelevant to most of you, but I still wanted to cover it, so here we go. I originally watched this because I was doing a Blu-ray review for the Rotoscopers, and it wasn't particularly high on my list of films to review or watch because I hadn't actually even seen the first Trolls film. But before I wrote the review, I decided to do my due diligence and actually watch the first one before this one. And it was fine. It was just fine. It had some catchy tunes, great art direction, but the story was a bit too generic and predictable for me to care about it that deeply. It was just... Fine. That's the best way to describe the first one. But, somehow, the mediocrity of that film didn't dull my anticipation of watching the sequel, because while well, nothing about the trailers for the first one made me even remotely interested in seeing it when it came out, so I hadn't seen it by the time the second one came out, the trailers for Trolls World Tour actually looked fun. And I was tentatively planning to go see it in theaters before the corona came and shut everything down, even though I hadn't seen the first one, I still kind of was planning to see the second one. But now I've watched both, so what did I think? The second one is actually so much better than the first one. Like the first one, the overall story was still mildly generic, but I felt like there was a lot more imagination and world building in the sequel, and I loved the way they designed all the different musical lands as well as the different troll species. And speaking of that, they actually came up with a good reason why Cooper that one four-legged giraffe-looking thing from the first movie existed. Like, without the context from the second movie, he makes absolutely no sense in the first film. Like, all the trolls have a very similar body type. They're, like, roughly human-shaped. He doesn't even look like the same species. So why was he considered a troll? But in a movie with talking clouds and singing plants, I guess, in the end, that doesn't really matter a whole lot. But the highlight of this movie is the music. That's the reason that I liked it so much. And I could be wrong, but I felt like this movie had a lot more music than the first one. And in my opinion, it had a way better track selection than the first one as well. So, even though I'm definitely not the target audience for this film, as someone who loves music and movies, I still feel like they made this movie with people like me in mind. It's not perfect, but it was a lot of fun, and I feel like I'll actually rewatch this one. And I actually ended up watching it twice when I was writing my review the first time. So, for me, that's like super high praise. So in the end, this movie may not be high art and story-wise is nowhere near the level of Disney or Pixar, but it's still highly entertaining and the music is a lot of fun. And in the end, that's what's important. So much to my surprise, I actually really enjoyed and I recommend Trolls World Tour. Okay, I think that's all for now. I make no guarantees as to when the next quarantine review is coming. It will be coming eventually. There will be more episodes. But like I said, I've been super busy, so we'll see when that happens. But I might be expanding the idea into a podcast episode, so stay tuned. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.